Welcome to Mariposa Skies, the how-tos. I'm Katie Schlegel. I'm the creator and owner of Mariposa Skies, where I travel the world looking for fashion in all the world's markets. And in those markets, I seek out and find local artisans who can craft and hand make fashion wares. I learn about their crafts, I learn how they do it, and I invest in their businesses, and I learn about their cultures, and I bring that back to the United States to share with you all. So in today's how-to, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to wear a scarf and transition those scarves into spring and summer. So I know that sounds a little crazy. Why would you want to wear a scarf in the spring and summer? It's hot. That does not sound fun. And I understand that completely. But I definitely have some really great how-tos and how to transition those scarves that you usually put away during the winter months and bring them back out for spring and summer. So I will jump right in to the first how-to. So I'll be going over five different ways that you uh, can do that um, in this video. So I'll jump right into the first one. And with this one, you'll need a longer scarf. Um, I prefer a little bit lighter weight scarf. Um, so this one is a pretty long scarf as you can see, okay? Um, it's actually what they wear underneath Obi belts. Japan. So this one's kind of fun. It kind of has this like little tie-dye, um, bright pink and neon green. And what you'll do is you'll just take the, fur, the front of it and kind of keep it even on either side. Okay? And you'll take the front of it and then you'll trim, kind of adjust it so it has a little bit of a higher, or a little bit of a um, width to it and then what you'll do in the back is just crisscross it over each other bring it around to the front this is why you need a little bit longer of a scarf and you'll twist it basically you want to keep it pretty tight and you'll just twist it one end over the other okay so it creates this tie type look little knot in the front and then all you have to do in the back is tie it in a knot and then you'll tuck in the remaining fabric. So I'll show that to you in just a second. So you just tie it in a knot so you have the two ends and then you tuck underneath the rest of that fabric. Depending on how long it is, it will depend on how much you have to tuck in. So you just created a belt. The other way you can do is just flip it around to the front and keep the tie in the front so it's kind of like this bow um, action. So you have a little bit more of a texture, a little bit more um, going on in the front and then you have that tie in the back. So that's the first way that you can transition your winter scarves in, um, to spring and summer. Make it into a belt, a waist cinch. So I thought that was pretty cool and wanted to share that with you all. The next one is, you know how everyone loves the infinity scarves. So every winter, I pretty much buy a new infinity scarf because I just, I love them so much. And um, then they go back into the drawer and I don't see them until next fall or winter. Well this time, you can keep them out. This happens to be um, Argentine mohair wool. And all you have to do is you have like this infinity scarf as you can see. All you have to do is dress it like you were a jacket. So this one's two-tone, so I'm going to keep the two-tone up top. And then you kind of just play around with it to make it into this little vest. And then that's what it looks like in the back. And it will just kind of drape them along in the back and fall quite nicely. And then this is something you could wear at night or when you're going out. You could also put it with a tank top just to kind of add a little bit of um, pizzazz to your outfit. And then if you do get cold, say it's a summer night or winter, uh, or sorry, summer or spring night, you can definitely make it into just a quick shawl. And it just kind of keeps it a little bit more warm. And then that's just what twisted in the back. But, 
It kind of just makes it into an easy way, hands-free. You don't have to worry about it. So that is that one. And I wanted to show you quickly with this type of um, infinity scarf. And that's just a different type of look. More texture to it, more um, neutral. And again, you're just gonna swing it over, give it a jacket, and you play with it to figure out where you want it to lay. And this one creates, since it's a little bit shorter, it creates a little bit more of a short vest. And again, you can do the same type of thing with the shawl. So, there you go. So that's how you can wear your infinity scarf in the spring and summer. All right, the next ones are for hair. Those who like to wear their hair up and then add a little bit of color pop along the hairline to your face, this is this one's for you. So you all you have to do is take it like you would. You're going to be wrapping it around, and this is where it gets fun. Is you twist it again like you did that first one, so it creates this little knot in the front. Now this does have some fringe on it. So it depends on what you want to show. And then what you can do is just kind of tuck that fringe under. So it just adds a little bit of pizzazz to your outfit. And then you can keep that out or you can tuck them in either way. Works. So just kind of fun, a little bit of a hippie way. <laughs> to add that scarf to your outfit for the spring and summer. Another way for your hair, I'm giving you lots of bonuses today, guys. Another way you can do the hair thing with your scarves is a little bit of longer one. And what you'll do is the same type of thing. I don't look like Rambo here, but you'll just tie it, twist it, like you were gonna make a knot. Match your little hair. And what you do, you can either keep both in front and it just adds a little bit, again, a little bit more of um, a hippie look to your outfit. You can put one towards the front and one towards the back, just adding a little bit to your outfit that sets you apart from everyone else. Kind of fun, right? So I have my hair up in a messy bun and it's really fun just to kind of uh, throw that on there, especially ladies if we are not having time to wash our hair, which happens to me. <laughs> you can definitely do this. It will hide all that oil and all that um, dirtiness on your hair, especially if you just put it up in a bun. It will hide all that and then you look super cute. So, who doesn't like that? Alright, so the fourth way I like to call my Grecian goddess. <laughs> And this is a, a more of a fancier scarf. It is from Thailand. It's a silk scarf. <clears throat> and this is definitely gonna give you a little bit of a fancier look. And what you'll do is adjust it so the two ends are even towards your hip. And you'll take the point of those two ends and tie them in a little knot or big knot, however you'd like. Either way works. And then all you have to do is adjust it. So it's kind of like a toga, but it allows you to kind of have hands free and you just add a little bit of pop to your outfit, especially I have all on all black, um, and it just adds a little pop to your outfit and a little bit of difference so if you're maybe going out to a little nicer restaurant at night or something where you just want to add something to your outfit, you can definitely do that with this look. The other way that you can do that <coughs> is just flip it and all you have to do is have the knot up there so it keeps this part and drapes down nicely to the side and then it does drape nicely on that side as well if you didn't want to accentuate your hip with that knot on it. Alright, so that is your fourth way. And you got two in one in that. <laughs> so, that was fun. And then the fifth way 
Now, ideally, you're gonna use two of the same color scarves. Um, with this, I didn't have the two same color scarves, but I wanted to show you this way anyways, just because I feel like it would be super fun to add um, to any outfit. So, this is like the type of scarf. It's kind of more of a square. So if you say you have an oversized bandana, or uh, something like that, you could definitely probably use that. It needs to be a little bit more, have a little bit more movement to it. Um, but what you do is on the top, what will be the top, you kind of take the two ends, the two corners that meet, and you tie them up pretty far in. And then you'll take the other two, let me get this right. <laughs> You'll take the other two ends, again, these are not the two colors that I would choose, <laughs> um, just because they don't look great together. So you take the other two ends and you do the same thing where it kind of creates this hole, so it's, it's like not too big of a hole, and then you just knot those together as well. And then on the other side of it, you have um, these two ends to knot. So you'll take these two corners and you're gonna make smaller knots on these. And the reason being, I'll show you in just a moment as to why you want that to be a little bit wider of a hole on this end. And wider and it's going to be your bottom. All right, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. Hoping that this does work out. <laughs> I'm simply going to make it into a little top. So how fun is that? So you have this. I know it's a little bit more of a tank top look. Uh, you could probably make these a little bit longer if you wanted to have it go off your shoulders and kind of create a little bit of sexy look to it. And then it just kind of drapes and you could use this as your beach cover up. Um, it would be simple. Uh, you could wear it to a pool party. You could also um, just put it over a tank top if you would like. I'd probably wear it like over a tank top or something like that versus like a shirt like I'm wearing right now just because I think that would give it more of a summer look. Um, and ideally, again, it's going to be two of the same color, so you kind of look like you know what you're doing instead of this mismatch <laughs> of a green and this kind of beigey pink. So there you go, guys. I just created a shirt for you guys out of scarves. <laughs> so that is it for the how-tos today. Thank you so much for joining me. I would love to hear from you. If you have any ideas of how to wear a scarf in the summer and springtime, I would love to hear from you as well. And um, it's just fun to kind of transition your winter wear into um, spring and summer when you didn't think that you could. You definitely can. Just have a, a little imagination and it goes a long way. All right, so I will see you next time on Mariposa Sky's How To's. And if you have any suggestions of what you want to see, I would love to hear it. Um, just comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Always, always wanting connection. So thank you so much. I appreciate you.